Hey, what up YouTube? Coming at y'all today with a new quick fix for your Vans Classic models. This here is a normal pair of Red Authentics. Pretty pretty everyday shoe. Um, kind of ruined them or whatever, skating them for a day. Um, but one quick fix is usually people have that problem with how flat the Classic models are. Um, if you have invested into any type of insoles for a different arch support or if you have more of a wider foot so you have special insoles or you just love Vans but you hate how they feel, I always like to recommend throwing in any type of insole that you usually use or the Ultra Sock Liner Bed from the opposite pro models. Of course, the, the pro models of the Authentics or the old schools or Skate Highs or whatever or even some Nikes, I like to go ahead and offer to people to rip the insole out of the floor that actually is connected to the bottom piece. As you can see, it's pretty much the floor bed of what would be under the classic authentic um, when you first buy them. Go ahead and just rip that out. Um, when you do rip it out, you want to kind of be careful to actually take it in between where this green piece is, which is the exact floor of the, you know, the bottom of the shoe. You want to just kind of slip your finger to separate that. And as you can see in the inside here, I want to show you there's some blue padding in the front for toes. I like to leave that area in there just because it actually helps to keep the padding on your big toes soft. Just because if you look at this insole that I did put in, it actually would help to have more padding here in this area and actually leave this area here flat as possible to actually insert the insole into the shoe without causing too much of a takeover of room. I feel like throwing an insole on top of stumped out classic vans kind of just takes away the room in the shoe. So you might have to get a half size bigger if you want to just improve a classic style that you may like. But in case you have a pair of classics that you really like and you hate how they feel, don't even trip. Go ahead, rip them out to the floor. Leave a bit of cushion in there for your big toes. As you can see, the blue part's still in there, ripped at least perfectly half of the insole, as you can see there, from the wear in the shoe, just to leave maximum space at the floor to insert the insole perfectly. Right. And then there you go. You pretty much just got a pair of pro classics. And of course, they don't have the material that the pros would, but you still improve comfort. 